hey, I've got so many golfers coming to me with contact issues. For example, chunking behind it or sculling it, topping it, not getting enough forward lean or compression, not striking cleanly with the divot in front. So right after this, let me show you one of my best exercises that I've had the most success with with some of my own private students and hopefully it's going to work for you too and you're going to start hitting your shots with really good clean contact. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. Let's work on some of your contact issues today. So one of the exercises which has worked tremendously for many, many golfers for me over the years is what I call the perfect impact drill. And it works like this. Now I've got the chair behind me just to kind of show you, kind of using it as a grid, just to show you movement relative to the ball. So perfect impact, and let's just use the club only for perfect impact first. We would know that at impact, and I've got a pitching wedge, we'd want forward lean of the club shaft, not here and definitely not here, which is what a lot of golfers do when they make consistently poor contact, but we're going to have a forward leaning shaft, we're going to have the club, the leading edge, enter the grass about one or one and a half inches in front of the front of the ball and scrape out a divot of about five or six inches in front of the ball. So just looking at the club and not the motions of the body yet, a, a really good impact zone would look like this. Forward lean, contact with the grass in front of the ball without trying to gouge downwards at it, but actually kind of, actually trying to sweep through the grass. So let's take a look at now what the movements of the body need to be in order to create that impact with this club and let's set ourselves in a perfect impact position just like somebody on TV might be in. So to do that let's start with the club leaning about four or five inches in front of the ball. Now I'm going to slide laterally to the end of the chair as the average guy on TV is going to slide even on a short iron they're going to slide Oh, at least five inches. So that gets me over to the edge of the chair. The average guy on tour on TV is also going to have their chest and their belt buckle rotated, not in line with the ball, but around in front of it like this. So impact to a good golfer looks something like this. Put yourself in this position you know, hold that for two or three seconds and you'll probably be blown away. You just, it's hard to believe that you could be so far out in front of the ball at the moment of the strike. Now, this gets you set up for the perfect strike, but you're not gonna be done just by posing here and taking a swing. That's most people's biggest mistake. Yes, you have a head start. Your body, your hips, the turn of your torso, and the swing of the arms has a head start out in front of the uncocking wrists so we get this forward lean. But if you just try to pick the arms up and drop them again, that's going right back to what you normally do on a golf swing, which is to use too much arms and not lead uh, the shot with pivot and rotation of the chest. So even though you've got a head start, you've got to maintain that head start by shifting and turning even a little bit more around the corner. So even though you're already here, you drop the club back just a little ways and see if you can even shift and turn further before you strike the ball. So that would look something like this. Pose, even if it's just with your right hand at first, pose in the perfect impact position. Now, I'm not gonna be done with just the arms. I'm going to turn through it and make sure that I push my hip even maybe an inch beyond the chair so that my weight finishes on the outside of my lead heel, just like that. And my belly button finishes facing 
at the target. Now one more time, establish, forward lean, pivot and turn. Now we're not going to be done and just use just the arms, but instead maintain the head start by turning through and there I have a really nice slightly downwards angle of attack, low point in front of the ball, forward leaning shaft, and overall a nice clean contact with super high ball compression. Now from there you're going to work your way closer and closer to normalcy. So we're just doing, because a lot of golfers they need to do this little drill and then they're the light bulb goes on and they feel for the first time what a really good strike, clean, ball compression, forward lean. It all feels like an impact and the light bulb goes off. That's what it's supposed to feel like. And then you can keep in the perfect impact position here and you can start to scale it. So a little bigger backswing. Don't forget to keep shifting and turning through it. Don't let your arms catch up just because you have established a lead or a head start of the body does not mean that you're done. Draw the arms back and keep turning them through the shot. So you can scale this up to about a half or a three quarters swing, but eventually you're going to have to do this without the cheater's head start. So what you'll do is You'll start more in your normal, or you can actually put yourself in the cheater's head start position for about three seconds, return to normal, and just hit some pitch shots, working your way back into the perfect impact position again. Now again, work small first until you really have a lot of success and you start to feel some really good quality clean contact. Then once you do that, slowly scale the model by swinging the pendulum a little bit further in each direction and adding a bit more power to it. And slowly you can build a really good golf swing out of just the concept of perfect impact. All right, let's look at one in slow-mo and see if we can see all these concepts. So there in the slow-mo replay you saw a forward leaning shaft, the ball struck, was struck first, the turf second, and you can see I was on my way sliding over to the post and rotating open. I did not worry for a second about keeping my head down, but rather I wanted to let my head release up the fairway with the turn of my chest. It's going to break a lot of those myths. For those of you who want to keep your head down so long, but let it go with the turn of the body and the drive of the hip to get to the outside of the foot. Use this little swing first and slowly go up the ladder and build it into a bigger and bigger swing that eventually does not require the perfect impact pose because it's so ingrained in your mind and in your body. Hey, I really hope this helps some of you out there. Thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and help me get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm Steve for HitItLonger.com and as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.